now actually this force is passing through this point okay so this is one corner and this one is one corner so what is this right angle triangle so how many vertical units two how many horizontal units three so we can write that theta one that is this angle is theta one is uh, basically two vertical is two into four and three horizontal is three into four is as good as two by three so theta one is thirty three point six nine so therefore we have one component this way and one component is this way so this angle is thirty three point six nine and this one is eighteen hundred cos thirty three point six nine this one is eighteen hundred sine thirty three point six nine correct and one the corner of this point is this point and one corner is here so we have this side angle triangle triangle you can make on any side this one is theta 2 so tan theta 2 is the vertical dimension is 3 times 4 and horizontal dimension is 1 times 4 so this theta 2 is 71.56 so one component will go to this side and one component will go to this side as per coordinate axis because if you observe the coordinate axis your axis system is like this is it correct this one is axis system so this force is in second quadrant so it follow the same notation so this one is this angle is 71.56 so this is 700 cos of 71.56 one is 700 sin of 71.56 is this fine yes. we have one corner at the same origin and one corner at the tip of this so we have this right angle triangle again i repeat you can take triangle from any side this one is theta 3 so alternate is also theta 3 So tan theta three equals to vertical dimension is one, so one into four, and horizontal dimension is three, three into four. One by three is eighteen point four three, and then resolve the force on the exactly at the end. So this angle is same as eighteen point four three. So this one is five hundred. Cos 18.43, 500 sine 18.43. Now, once you finalize this, we will identify the forces along x direction. So these two forces are positive, and this force is negative. So we have sum along x-axis. Fx, right word positive, equals to 1800 cos of 33.69. Into cos of 18.43 minus 700 cos of 71.56. Is the answer is positive? Yes. So it will go right one. Now the same thing will repeat for y direction. So this is going along positive y is positive. This is also going along positive of y is positive, and this one is going along negative of y is negative. So we have sigma f y, vertically upward positive. 1800 sine is positive value. 700 sine 56 positive value. minus 500 sine 18.43 negative value. So your answer is the positive answer. So it will go upward. To complete the figure, we will first take x direction and the tip of this one we construct y, and then we get resultant value. So r equals to under root of this square plus this square is two three. Point two four newton, and theta come out to be tan inverse of one five zero four by this one thirty 
As per this one, the R will go to this side and the angle equals to theta. That is 40.67. This one is called as theta 1. The vertical dimension is 1 and horizontal is 2. So tan theta 1 is 1 divided by 2. By 2 is 26.56. Therefore, one component of this one will go to this side and one component will go to this side. Angle is always with respect to x axis. So this one is 800 cos 26.56. This one is 800 sine 26.56. This is concerned. This one is the standard answer. Is it 1 by 1 is 45? For 300 Newton, is it 1 by 1? So that is the standard answer. 45 angle. So this one is 45. So this is 300 cos 45 and this one is also 300 sin 45. Correct. One point is always origin and one point you have to select the corner. Is it a corner? Is this the corner? No, corner is this. That is why the triangle is considered like this. Okay, check, check, check this 70. Is it 1 by 1 is possible? For 70 is 1 by 1 is possible? 1 unit? Is it 1 unit? And even 2 by 2 is also possible? Yes, sir. Is 2 by 2 is same as 1? Angle is 45. So this is standard angle, 45. 70 cos 45 and 70 sin 45. Newton clear. For 100 Newton, we can select either this corner and this corner. Is it 1 by 1 corner? This one is also 1 by 1? Or we can take 2 by 2 also. Even we take 2 by 2, your answer will not change. So this angle is same as 45. So this is 100 cos 45. This one is also 100. Along x axis are positive. So this compound is positive. This compound is positive. This component and this component are negative. So sigma fx rightward positive equals to this answer is positive answer so it will go rightward for y calculation this force is going along positive y is positive this one is positive this is going along negative of y is negative this one is negative and is 449.6 is answer positive so it will go upward now remaining job is very simple we can construct one x direction on the tip of this one we will construct one y and finally we get one resultant value that can be obtained by Pythagoras and this value equals to theta so resultant is 690.95 and theta is 40.5 so your final answer is this ok first of all we will check the problem what do you want to say he says that the force system shown in the figure so this is system of forces as shown in the figure, we have given the three forces. One force is F, one force is 240 and one force is 500. And if you replace all this system, then we get one resultant system that you normally show in a separate figure. At the resultant, the resultant force is 600 Newton acting up, up to the right, to the right, acting up to the right is it correct acting up and right so this one is right and this one is up so your force is go this way up up is this right right is this so you consider this first then you go right then also you go the same direction or you consider first right and then you go up then is your direction also same. It means that you have to go right, then you have to go up, and where you come, that you have to join with the center. And this is the resultant force R. And what is the value of this force equals to 600 Newton. And what is the angle does it make with the x axis? 60. So this one is resultant system. 
resultant force will pass through the same point that is origin. Very first thing you have to do is that whatever the forces are inclined either on left hand side or right hand side, you go on resolving first. So start resolving. So resolution of this will go this way and one will go this one. This angle is 60. So this component is 600 cos of 60. One is 600 sin of 60. Similarly, do the resolution of this also. So, but you can very well write this f cos theta and we can very well write f sin theta. Horizontal and vertical forces you have to never resolve. But can we resolve this force also? So we can very well resolve this force. This angle is 30, so is the corresponding angle is also 30. So this value is 240 cos of 30 and this value is 240 sin of 30. Actually these two figures are same, so you have to put equal to sin. Both figures are same. This value is basically your sigma fx. And this value here is basically sigma f5. So this value is sigma f5 is the summation. What is resultant? Is it an addition of all forces? Resultant means what? Addition of all forces. So from this one, we will collect data first. Our sigma fx. Now I want to write down the mathematical answer. So is this value is taken as positive value or negative value? So you have to write down this one as plus 600 cost and from this one this value of sigma f5 is it a positive value or negative value again positive. is positive value but remember if your force is acting suppose by chance next time your force is acting this side then you resolve this one and you resolve this one is the value of fx and f5 will take negative you have to take it negative why to take it negative because it is going to the left side if your force in this quadrant is x is positive and y is negative. So according to the force you have to use that. Suppose he says that, suppose he says that you go down, okay, and then he says you go right. So where is down? Down is this. And where is right? Right is this. So how you construct this figure? You have to go this way and you have to go this way. Then is your force will go this way. Is it right and then down? Or we can say down first and then right. He says that go down and go left. What is the meaning of this one? Go left is this, go down is this. So is your figure is left and then down. So is your force will go this way. Sigma fx from this side. What is sigma fx from this side? One force is this. One force is this and one force is this. And what is the uh, answer on this side? So this answer is 600 cos of 60. And this answer on this side is 240 into cos of 30. Plus this this one is f cos theta. One is 500. But is this 500 is negative value? This 500 is negative value. So you can substitute all the value and find out what is the value of f cos theta. for y sum. y sum is what? 600. So this is 600 sin of 60 from this side. Is f sin theta is positive value? On the left hand side f sin theta is positive value. Value 240 sin 30. Is it negative value? So this one is 240 sin 30. Contribution in y direction. So what is f sin theta? Call this one is equation number 1 and let call this is equation number 2. 1 divided by 2 is it tan theta? F tan theta is tan theta is 639.6 by 592. Theta equals to 47.06. Now put this value either in 1 or 2 and find out F. That is your answer.